Hey, 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 we're back. It's Wednesday. And this week, I want to talk to you about faith. You know, last week, I asked you a question. I said, what is it that you want? What do you really want? What do you desire? And, and I told you, if you remember, I told you, you know, the problem with the world is that 98% of people, they don't know what they want. They don't know what they want. I mean, you know, but there's an old saying. And I shared it with you last time. If you missed the video from last week, hey, scroll down, find that video, look for the video. You know, because I, I told you that there's an old saying, guys like Jim Rohn, Zig Ziglar, they've been saying it for years. Even Bob Proctor, they say, hey, if you can tell me what it is that you want, tell me what you desire. I can show you how to get it. I can show you how to get it. But you got to know what it is that you want. And if you're going to get it, there's two other things that you got to have. There's, there's, there's a few more, you know, but two of the most important things. One is persistence. We're going to talk about persistence next week. So if you're watching this week, make sure you join me next week. And we're going to talk a little bit about persistence. But this week, I want to talk about faith. Because faith is that thing. It, it, faith is the thing that really, it makes miracles happen. It makes miracles happen. It's probably why the religious guys have been talking about faith for years and years and umpteens of years. You know, the only problem is that most of the religious guys, they don't know nothing about faith. They don't know how to tell you how to develop faith. And so they just stand up on their pulpits. They stand up wherever they're talking at and they just keep rumbling and rambling and rambling. They say, have faith, pray, do this. do. They tell you to do a whole lot of things, which your life experience tells you that some of the things they tell you, they work. But for some reason, a lot of the things that they're telling you don't seem to work. It's because they haven't told you how to have faith. You know, one of my motivation, one of my favorite motivational speakers, old guy by the name of Les Brown, old timer man. He's been around a long time. He's been giving motivational speaks since I was just a, a, a wee pup, right? Since I was just, since we were rolling around in diapers, I think he's been giving motivational speak, speeches. And one time I'm listening to him, right? I'm listening to him down in DC. I went out to hear him speak. And he said that sometimes, you have to allow other people's faith in you to increase you. Those weren't his exact words, but that's what I can recall right now at the very moment. He said that sometimes other people's faith in you is all that you have. It's all that you have to go off is other people's faith. And you see, I know some things right now. I know some things that I've learned over years and years and years. I've come a long way, you know, from, from playing up under the, you know, they say you, you climb that ladder to success. Man, I started under the ladder. I don't even think there was a ladder there when I started, you know, but I've come a long way. I've learned a whole lot, you know, and one of the things I've learned is that you have the ability. You've been given the ability to be, do and achieve anything that you put your mind to. You see, I'm only making this video today. I'm here talking to you today because it's Wednesday. This is Wednesday Wisdom and Leadership, but I'm only doing this because I know that you're going to see this and I have faith in you. I have faith in you because I know who you are. I know that you're a child. I know, who, I know that, that. You are part of something that's a lot larger than yourself. Nobody's told you that. You've probably heard it. You probably dismissed it. You probably let it go. But you see, I have faith that if you hear what I'm saying to you right now, listen, if you hear what I'm saying, go ahead and click the like button. Click the like button. Give it a thumbs up. You know, put a comment down. But if you hear what I'm saying right now, here's what I want you to know. You have the ability to be, do, and achieve anything that you put your mind to. The only thing you need is you need a little extra information, a little extra knowledge, a little extra awareness. You need somebody in your team. You need somebody who can speak life into your ideas, your desires. You, you have some things on your mind you've been thinking about doing. You have things that you've been thinking about for a while. You know, you've been doing things in a certain way. Maybe you've been getting up and going to work to a job that you hate. You know, I did that for a long time. I did it for a long time, for a long time. And I, 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 I woke up every day. And I went off to a job that I hate. I hate it. But you know what I did? I did something that I told you to do last week in the last video. I said, rip out a piece of paper. You know, I said, rip out a piece of paper and write down what it is that you want. You see, I have faith that if you do that, the wheels are going to slowly start turning. And so that's exactly what I did. I ripped out a piece of paper. I didn't turn it out of the book. I took the book out, opened it halfway through. On the top page, I folded it over so it would make it easy for when next time I, I go to the book to find it, it would be there. And then I wrote at the top what it is that I wanted. And I made a list. And whenever I make a list, I always like it. When I'm doing things like this, I like to start off with the body, mind, soul. And so I said, what do I want to be in, in 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 20, 30 years from now? 
I started out with the first ones first. I said, what do I want to be in the next 10 years? I said, what do I want to be in the next 10 years? What type of lifestyle do I want to enjoy? What type of life do I want to have? What type of automobiles do I want to have? What type of vacations and quality of life do I want to have? What do I want for my kids? What do I want for my family? What do I want for my wife? And I wrote it all down. You know, and there was a whole lot of happiness that I wanted to see. There was a whole lot of opportunities that I wanted to see. I wanted to be able to see my kids go off and do great things, go to awesome schools and universities, you know, and, and live this American dream. You probably want the same thing. But I wrote it on that list. And then I heard something else. Somebody said, they said, hey, listen, have faith in the process. It's tough. They said, have faith in the process. And that's exactly what I did. Was it easy? No, nah, it wasn't easy, you know. But then I wrote on another piece of paper, another guy, he told me, you know, this guy by the name of Bob Proctor. And I was fortunate enough to meet Bob Proctor a long, long time ago. And Bob Proctor, he's another guy, man. He's been giving these motivational speaks and these talks and, you know, this intellectual stuff. And he taught me about the universal laws and the intellectual faculties. He taught me all kinds of things. He's an awesome guy. The guy's about, I think Bob's got to be about 80, 82, 86. 384 85 years old right now he's he's in his early 80s i know he's not i don't think he's past 86 right but he's he's he, he did some awesome things and one of the techniques he told me he said listen on another piece of paper he said one of the, one of the problems that, that you have and i'm putting this in my words right now i'm just giving it to you the way that i remember it but these are my words all right but this is what i recall from what he said he said listen get that piece of paper At the top, I want you to write gold card. And that's what I wrote at the top. He called it a gold card. And, and, and I wrote down who it is that I desired to be. What did I desire to have? In my entire life, I wanted to be free. I don't know if you see it on the shirt right there, but my entire life, I wanted to be free. I didn't want to have to work for a living. I didn't want to have to get up and go off to some job that I hate every day for the rest of my life. I did that for a very long time. And Bob helped me to... Bob helped me to craft an escape plan. And then he taught me how to help other people craft the escape plan. And then he taught me to have faith in the plan. And then he also taught me how to have faith in myself. He introduced me to this awesome book entitled Think and Grow Rich. Think and Grow Rich. And that book's available on my website because I love it so much. It's available on my website. You can get a copy of it. There's links to free videos. You can listen to it, but there's nothing like being able to read a copy of it and he introduced me to this process he said listen i want you to write this down i want you to repeat this saying this affirmation these words i want you to take that little card out of your pocket i want you to read it daily he said if you're smart you're going to read it three times a day three times a day that was amazing it was amazing. He said, if you're smart, you're going to read it three times a day, morning, noon, and night. So guess what I did, folks? Man, I started reading it three times a day, morning, noon, and night. And he said, you, you're going to read it morning, noon, and night until you never have to read it again. And he said, when you read it, you're going to read it with passion and vigor. You're going to feel good about it while you're reading it. He said, you're going to put some emotion into it. And so he said, you're going to stand tall and you're going to read it. And so that's exactly what I did. I stood tall and I read it morning, noon and night. And I read it until I didn't have to read it anymore because it was ingrained right back there. It was ingrained and I was ready. Man, such a blessing. Such a blessing. You know, I met Bob Proctor very much the same way that you've met me right here through videos, YouTube. I went to his YouTube channel. Well, it wasn't his YouTube channel, it was a, a video on YouTube, right? And I went there and, and that's how I met him. If you go to YouTube right now and you search Thank and Grow Rich Ernie Davis, if you do that, you'll find me, <laughs> you know, and you'll even find one of the resources I put out there for you. You will find an audio book that I did, a reading that I did of Thank and Grow Rich is out there for you. It's available. I'd love for you to get a, you know, go to YouTube and listen to that. And if you go to the one, it's session five. If you go to session five, session five ties along into what we're talking about today. We're talking about faith. And session five goes a little bit more into detail and it's a little bit more focused on how you can have faith, how you can develop faith, you know, because what you're going to need is faith. A lot of people think that they have faith, but here's the thing that they don't know. 
there is a difference between faith. A lot of people have a belief. They have a belief. And there's a difference between belief and faith. They're two totally different things. One leads to the other. One leads to the other. That means that belief comes before faith. Belief comes before faith. Think about that. Some people can't even believe that something is possible. They can't believe that it's possible to think and grow rich. They can't believe it's possible that they can get ahead in today's society. They can't believe that it's possible for them to escape their circumstances. But what I'm telling you is that you must have belief. If you have belief, the next thing to come is you have to repeat that belief often enough and let that belief resonate in your mind. Let that belief sink in and let it come out until the point that you go, you say you share that belief with yourself so often. You tell yourself this story so often that you begin to believe it. And not only do you begin to believe it, you begin to know it's possible. You see, it's possible for you to live and enjoy the type of lifestyle that you desire. The thing is that you may not desire to live and enjoy the type of life that I desire. You see, you may not desire to live and enjoy the type of life that your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, your next door neighbor, anybody else who looks like you. You may not want to live that type of life, but you may have a life that you desire to live. And it's possible for you to do that. It's possible for you to live the type of life that you desire. Yeah, trust me, it's possible. YouTube. Session five. Think and Grow Rich, Ernie Davis. Get it. It's the audio book. Listen to it. You don't have to watch the screen. The screen doesn't change. It, don't, it doesn't change. You just play it and let it roll. Roll with it. Let it play while you're riding in your car, while you're walking, while you're doing your, your chores, your dishes, your, you know, whatever you're doing, sitting out on your porch. Let it play and let, it, let, let the words sink into your mind. You let those words sink into your mind and you'll understand why it is possible. That you can be, do, and achieve anything that you put your mind to. You can believe it's possible. And you will learn how to transmute that belief into faith. You will let my faith in you. I made the video because I had faith that you would see this. And this video would change your life. And I know that you can be, do, and achieve anything that you put your mind to. And I know that God and the universe has already given you everything that you need to succeed. Is there more to it? Yeah, you bet. There's a whole lot more to it. But listen. It's Wednesday. I just wanted to get on here for a second. I wanted to tell you that I believe in you. Not only do I believe in you, I have faith in you. And I have faith that you can be, do, and achieve anything that you put your mind to. I have so much faith that I made the video. I put it on YouTube. Jump over there and look at it. Session five, Think and Grow Rich, Ernie Davis. Faith, creating miracles through the use of the, the mind and self-suggestion. Listen to it. It's just an audio book. Listen to it. If you think it's right, hey, let me know. Let me know. Let me know that you're hearing me. Press press like down there so that I know that you're here. All right. So that I know that you're hearing me, you know, and what I want you to do is, is I want you to join me next week. Join me next week because next week we're going to talk about persistence because you will never achieve success without persistence. You need belief. You need belief because everything starts with belief. Belief transmutes. If you do it correctly, your beliefs will transmute into faith. As long as you know what you want. You want that car, you want the house, you want the bank account, you want the lavish lifestyle, you want the enjoyable lifestyle. It doesn't have to be a three, it doesn't have to be a big old mansion, it can do whatever you want. But if you want it, you can have it. If you simply believe, know what it is that you want, believe, have faith, and then understand the importance of persistence. The problem with most people is they give up too early. But hey, it's Wednesday, I don't want to take too much more time. It's been fun. It's been good. I hopefully I know you got something out of it. You know, if you didn't get anything out of it, hit that mad button down at the bottom. That one that said the angry face. Hit the angry face so I know that you didn't get anything out of it. If I just wasted your time, hit the angry face so I know you get you didn't get anything out of it. But if you did get something out of it, if you loved it, hit that hit that little heart button. If you did love it, then go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Let me know that you you got something out of it. This is how we do it. This is what we're looking for. Freedom. You want freedom, I want freedom, I want to help you get there. We're going to do this. It's Wednesday, baby. I'll talk to you later.